uh, I make my bed just because I'm a big believer that anything big in life starts small and it starts right here. Then I come in and I feed, I feed my little cat. He gets food before I do. I give him a fresh cake every morning. Today with some essential oils. Get some good scents in the house, you know. About to go hit a morning workout with my trainer. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Fridays is when I work out. Do it first thing in the morning because I like to get it out of the way and I get my ass kicked and it's a good way to start the day. You got a trainer named Wolf? It's, it's a battle every morning. It's always like during coronavirus when the whole thing happened, like all the gyms were closed obviously and even the beaches were closed. So what do we do? We, we start working out on the street and I haven't looked back since. This is one of our favorite morning morning people. Stevie, Stevie. say hello. What are those? No, don't tell anybody, you wear shoes. <laughs> She's always doing steps out here. She's never wearing shoes, but today she is wearing shoes. It's winter and we are weak. You wanna know what's on my playlist, Jim? What? <laughs> I listen to Screamo. Screamo post hardcore. I like to get yelled at. <laughs> And screamed out in the mornings. So good fire up. Uh, five rounds of three minutes of work. So he's gonna hit the mitts for about three minutes, and then every single break that he has is about 45 seconds. He's gonna do 30 push-ups, and then the remaining time he's gonna rest. So non-stop go. How are you not tired already? I am. <laughs> I'm dying. Time moves way too slow right now. Let's go, Jeff. I jump out of car. Ooh, he's laughing at me. He likes it. He likes seeing me struggle. Your finisher today is 20 man makers. No. <laughs> Another big yikes. Man makers are, Jim? No. You'd never want to know and you never want to do it. <laughs> Business and life are contact sports. You gotta work hard for it. Just finished the workout. Now it's time to go slam a young quaddy. Remember what those are? Ice vanilla latte, four shots of espresso, add almond milk. Time to slam a young quaddy. Go uh, peep some emails, have some calls. Who's yeah. reading? Tony Robbins. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm blushing. <laughs> you listen to um, Andy Frisella? Yeah. I'm with First Form, so. Okay, so I, I saw that. Yeah. He, he's Handy, insane. He's a boss. He's the best. He is. So like a lot of the stuff that I, I like use through like business and like working out is through him. Yeah, he's His intense. Podcast, it's insane. He's unreal. I listen to every episode. I've been a fan for like five years. Same. Pod, like the only guy that tells it to you yeah. exactly how it is. Straight. Um, no fluff, no bullshit. Like level. how hard it is to build a business, how hard it is to, level. you know, kill it in or life and then what you got to do to, what you got to do to win arena? every day. He's, yeah. he's the man. This is how he got his name. JJ Goldbear. You'll see, watch. Because he gets on his hind legs, see? He gets on his hind legs and he goes for the treats. There you go. JJ Goldbear. JJ from the UK. He came from Manchester, England. I got him two years ago. Just had breakfast, gonna get a coffee and start the day. Got my young quaddy and ready to start the day. Uh, one of my favorite simple pleasures in life is my coffee every single morning. I can't work without it, so we're gonna have a great day. I have this document, it's called the Forward Five, or that's what I called it, but it's basically like writing down five things every single day that you have to get done that are non-negotiables, and it's how you win the day. And once you do it, you cross it off and then you move on. So this is a meeting with John, he's the CEO of Ampush, which is our digital marketing agency that we use mm -hmm. for all of our paid social ads. Any cool brand that you've ever bought or any cool brand that you've ever liked has come from maybe a friend or maybe someone that you saw that was wearing it that like you admired and like it's not coming from like a Facebook ad like it helps sell the product but you need amplifiers behind that to kind of legitimize your brand what is up man how you doing doing good how are you doing good another day in quarantine <laughs> yes sir we're uh, leaving the pad we're gonna go down to the office um, we got some product stuff to go over and so now we're gonna cart down we're gonna grab some lunch pick up a sandwich, we're gonna go by the office and have a product meeting. My dentist is right here, he's the man. Tudor, what's up?
park the park the cart. We're going into blenders. Uh, it's right here. It's pretty cool. We've been here for like two and a half years. Um, you should see where we actually started, though. I got to show you where we actually started. I'll show you a photo. Pretty crazy. Um, but this is our this is our spot. We're gonna go uh, take a tour and go show you guys uh, what it's like in a product meeting. So stand by. All right. Welcome to Blends. Here we go. This is our new office. Actually, well, we've been here for a while, but we expanded. And so um, we did a huge remodel right when Corona hit, unfortunately. And then everyone worked from home. And then, you know, we just finished it. Well, almost done. But yeah, super excited. So let's take a little spin. My office, it's not fully, not fully done just yet, but you know, getting there, getting there. Um, so what else we got? New kitchen, this is brand new. We haven't had these before because we never had a kitchen in our old office. It was just this like one little countertop and that's all we had in a fridge. And outdoor living right here, pretty cool. Um, this is gonna be this kind of outdoor workspace with tables, chairs, sail shades, cool plants, ping pong table, you know. It's a mess though. This place is a mess right now. Just FYI. This is our new space in Encinitas that we just signed the lease on, um, trying to work out the construction details. Um, open it with Baked Bear, um, kind of a shared space. Um, so it'll be our second retail space. So um, This has been going on for like eight and a half months. And so the fact that we just signed a lease and the fact that we're off to the races, now it's like, let's get going, you know? But we gotta deal with the city, we gotta submit plans and get them approved. And it's a, it's a lot of groundwork you gotta lay. It's not like building an online business by any means. This is a lot more hands-on work, so. But anyways, I'd say launch those in January and just let's go, we're gonna have to go really hard, so. My guess is that the way we Float could work with Spring Break. PC style, right? So we've got an yeah. H series. So I was thinking H, yeah. No, yeah, we have the, we have the um, L, H, and North Park. Can't see my left eye. Cause if you <laughs> take that break. <laughs> I mean, Mike looks good in most of this stuff, so it's I like, know. Uh, uh, uh. Yo, what are we doing? This is the heart of Blenderville right here. This is this is the heart. This is uh, this is the cool stuff. This is the showroom. Bridget, Jared, How say what's doing? up. What's up, guys? I'm Jared. I'm the assistant manager here, and uh, it's our first week, and we're getting things going, and okay. yeah, everything's awesome here right now. What's up, guys? I'm Bridget. I'm a shade specialist. <laughs> I come in and make you guys feel good. Uh, yes, make you look good and feel good. Very fun place to be, especially when you got cool people working for you. You know, nothing, nothing's better than that. Absolutely. For the month of October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So every year we do a signature series for breast cancer. Um, this year is our third year, and this year we're going really big because my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer not once but twice. Uh, she overcame it, and so for that, and for all the customers that have been affected by it, we are donating 100% of profits on this pair for three more days. So, pretty stoked. We should raise over like $150,000 for, for charity this year. So, pretty cool. The future of the year, of next year, hangs in the balance of a good, of a good, crisp, clean roadmap. Your production schedule, your launch schedule, your marketing schedule is literally everything, right? Like the products you bring to market, when you launch them, how many you're ordering, like all that stuff is so, so critical. So that meeting was very important. Housewarming party in one week, it's all ready. So look at this, this fool, he does this and like, dude, attention to detail, man. Like this thing, where is it? Okay. So it's uneven. So you can see like the difference right here. That bothers me. Yeah. And right here, uneven. So that bothers me. Oh, they're, they're not going to redo that. No, I, <laughs> They're not getting paid if they don't redo it. This is why they don't take care of anything. Okay, but here's here's the bathroom, the master bathroom. Here, my CB's car is still parked in the middle of the street. <laughs> this was supposed to be done two Someone weeks ago. Someone else's problem, but not his. This was supposed to be done two weeks ago. This is where we're at. Bathroom's come, almost. Come take a peek. Come take a peek. This is supposed to be done when? Two weeks ago. But look at this. Oh, okay. what a nice, a nice good view. Looks wonderful, CB. Yeah, thank you. I'm here three day, three times a day, so <laughs> I can't just manage the whole thing. I, act, I gotta actually work. I mean, look at this place. It's a disaster, um, especially the hallway. But he's not finishing on time, and anyone could have told him that, but he refused to. He refused to accept it. 
It's all good. He's going to learn his lesson. I don't think I'm going to, sir. Uh, at least right now. I think I'm going to wait and check it in another hour and a half till the tide comes up. And fingers crossed that there's something beyond what I'm seeing now. So I'm going to give it another look in an hour. Come back. Can't. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when there's no surf, this is the only wave in town, Jim. <laughs> is it a good wave? Oh, look at that. You go straight into it. Oh, Chase, you're an expert. You're out, Polity? Yeah. Oh. I actually don't know how you do that. I know. That's insane. It's actually insane. Oh shit, do you guys see it? Yeah. Holy fuck, it's a barrel! <laughs> <laughs> He's got it! He's got it! The T Rex one, here you go. Absolutely. He's going, he's going. You got it? Whoa! 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 And he comes out. Whoa, the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> Feeling good. We sit here and we lag and we banter and we bullshit. We wave the flag loud and proud on the wall. Oh, See the wall? <laughs> We're never surfing. It's all good. Yeah. Since we've gotten waves, we got to fully train for this. We got the mustard yellow wetsuit. <laughs> you shine bright and you choose right. You're not missing me today. Even though it's ankle high. <laughs> and there's no one out. You're still not missing me. A surf is always better than not surfing and I don't really get time to ever slow down in my life and this is a good time for me to just slow down and truly be present and some of my most creative ideas happen in the water. Whether it's ankle high or it's really big, it doesn't matter. So yeah, it's good for the body, good for the soul. We live in San Diego, take advantage of it and it keeps me sane, it fires me up. And it feels good, so I'm gonna go catch a couple. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Fun day. Much more craziness to come. But I think that's part of this this journey. You never know what's coming your way. That's, uh, that's what happens when you run your own business. It could be a tsunami or it could be, it could be mellow. Today was one of those good days. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. There's an epic sunset right now. So <laughs> the day's not over, but we're gonna go check it out. It's supposed to be insane. <laughs>